Afnan's historic Almeda. Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. For those who are new here, I do fragrance related videos, reviews, lists, recommendations, etc. Uh, mostly on Middle Eastern scents and hidden gems. So if you're not looking to spend the big bucks, looking to find amazing fragrances at great prices, uh, are into Middle Eastern scents and alternatives, do consider hitting the like button, subscribing and even the bell icon. A few months back, Afnan launched the Historic series and I had one look at the bottle and I just knew that I had to have this one. I know I know I have a problem, but that's a topic of discussion for another day. Anyways, there are two scents in the series. There's one which is Historic Doria that comes in this pink box and bottle, which to my nose is extremely close to um, Thomas Kozmala's number four, aka Aprilamore. This one, believe me guys, is an Ambroxin bomb. This one lasts like crazy, projects like crazy. If you know what uh, Thomas Cosmala's number four smells like, uh, so much Ambroxin it has a bit of that Baccarat Rouge feel. And this one nails it, just lasts and lasts and projects and just spreads everywhere that you go in the room so let me know if you want me to cover this one as well uh if you if you want just pause the video right now i'm gonna wait here pause the video uh, and let me know in the comments if you'd want me to do a video a separate video on uh historic olmeda as well i'm waiting done <laughs> okay cool let's move on to this one it's called historic olmeda let's first have a look at the presentation Oh, but before that, the name Olmeda, you know, tell me what you think it means because I have no clue. Uh, I don't know what Olmeda is. Uh, is it a name? Is it a place? And what it has to do with this Greek uh, Roman style column. If you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, talking about column, let's first have a look at the box and then the bottle. The box is a nice deep navy blue with this gold accents on it. You have the Afnan logo on top. And then you have like the batch code and all at the bottom and the ingredients on the back of this and also like most Middle Eastern fragrances have started doing now a holographic uh, sticker as well. One thing I didn't notice at first uh, and only later was this thing which is this is actually the bottles outside but this is actually a magnetic box I hope you notice it and a nice strong magnet as well so yeah for people who are into that kind of stuff this is for you now to the star the bottle uh like i mentioned earlier it looks like a greek or roman column uh you know what with this design it could look tacky but the fit and finish on this bottle is excellent and that's why it looks really premium it also has this tassel on the side uh, again, blue in color matches the bottle, uh, which I lost on my historic Doria bottle. I don't know where it went. I was shifting from my old apartment to the new one and it just fell somewhere. Again, name on the front of the bottle. Uh, it has the concentration at the bottom. This is an or the Parfum, 80% uh, volume. And on the top, you have the Afnan logo. This is a plastic cap but uh, one that is really well made and the attention to detail is definitely uh, there even on the cap and that's why it looks really good let's have a look at the atomizer on this one it's a little different than most fragrances i'll just show you uh, this is how it sprays so it's actually more it's not got much of a throw it's got a wider spread so when you're spraying it you spray it a little closer to you but it um, you know it covers more distance so you're getting more juice but uh, you're getting a wider distance of juice so you just hold it closer to yourself when you're uh, spraying it let's quickly have a look at the notes on top you have pink pepper cardamom juniper and grapefruit and in the middle notes you have bergamot cedar nutmeg and jasmine and as base notes this one has patchouli apple 
ambergris and musk now this is the first time that i've seen apple as a base note on a fragrance uh yeah actually the first time i've seen it and weirdly enough i don't get too much apple in this one probably some of that crisp freshness is there some sweetness maybe the apple but uh you know i can't really pinpoint the apple and it being used as a base note uh, i don't know why my nose isn't catching it so what does it smell like this one to me is a true blue fragrance and the one that it reminds me of the most is the original blue fragrance of all time blue de chanel this one reminds me of the edp version the other perfume that i have here this is a fragrance that got me in the game uh as they say uh but honestly this is like my third bottle now it's one fragrance that i just can't get enough of the one that started it all and i know what you're thinking oh no another blue de chanel clone stick around because it's much more than that i want to add that although this reminds me of blue de chanel uh this is not just another blue de chanel clone or alternative it's far from that actually this is like blue de chanel with a twist and that twist is what really hooks you when it starts off it won't remind you of blue de chanel or uh, at all you know the opening on this one is something else uh, very unmistakable uh, you sniff it and anything that tries to be like it you just you know catch it this one doesn't start off like that there's a difference in the opening of this one compared to the original blue de chanel um that zing and that sweetness is missing in that grapefruit uh when this one opens up there is grapefruit you will detect it it's just the way it's treated is a little different uh compared to blue de chanel another thing is also it starts off this one starts off pretty woody and um, there's a nice balanced spiciness to it as well but as time passes by this one does get closer to the blue de chanel uh dna uh but somehow this manages to feel like it's got more depth to it yes this this afnan here manages to feel like it's got more depth than one of my favorite scents that chanel makes now on my skin if you you know are going to sniff it up close i've sprayed it here let's have a look even on the blot paper up close it doesn't really have you know it doesn't seem like a one on one match but in the air it definitely is much closer to blue de chanel and when i caught whiffs of it you know that's when i knew that ah, okay this is what it's trying to be uh, with a bit of twist there's also a tinge of something middle eastern in this one uh and i really can't put my finger on what that is uh it's um it's i don't know it pro it's probably the amped up nutmeg in it uh, it's something and on the blotter paper it doesn't show off that much as much as it does on my on on my skin now i don't know why i'm smelling i'm not even wearing it but um yeah on my skin there's something uh, of this middle eastern touch like i was saying uh like almost like a like a like an amber like feel to it probably the amped up nutmeg overall not very versatile i won't lie there no use lying uh but it does have a very likable quality and it's going to be super duper versatile you can wear this at just about any time anywhere and it would be the perfect occasion for it so uh, this could be your sotd say in um when you're suited up or it could be your sotd when you're just chilling at the pool so not just another blue de chanel alternative this one it's got a lot happening uh it's well rounded and uh, it can also be a dumb reach at the same time also look at this presentation i really like it might not be everyone's cup of tea but i think they've made it very unique it's going to stand out from the crowd does stand out in my collection when i keep it without the box so definitely something that you should look into especially considering the price i know i keep saying this especially considering the price but honestly this is available for i've seen it in the us for around 48 or 45 to 50 dollars and i've seen it um in uh, in the uae this one i picked for 180 dirhams directly from the afnan store but i've seen online stores selling this for around 150 dirhams so say in india when it's about to when it's going to hit india's markets i would say this is going to be around a 3500 rupee mark i'm not sure but 
I'm guessing for previous prices and I think uh, maybe 3500 to 4000 and I think for that price uh, this should be a winner also I have to add amazing performance on this one does perform much better than my beloved blue day chanel here third bottle or fourth bottle that i'm on now uh i love this scent though but this one does perform much better i can't put numbers on it yet because i've used this so less uh, just a three or four wearings maybe um but you know easy to go nose blind yeah so it might think that you might think that it's not projecting you can't smell it it's dead but people around you will notice you you know uh, i wore this i think i wore this when i went for a haircut sprayed it on my neck and the barber used the trimmer on me and then he got the trimmer close to my face and then I could smell it on it uh, left my shirt uh, and then came back to it a couple of days later and uh, opened the door and I could still smell it this the shirt was behind the door uh, so yes it does have you know that ambroxin that gives it uh, that blue feel and most blue scents don't really last and project that well but uh, this one uh, does actually do pretty well. So let me know what you think about this one if you've tried it. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Also tell me if you want me to do a separate video on this one. I didn't show the bottle. Like I told you, I've lost the tassel for this one. But again, same bottle, but this one uh, has more of a matte finish. I think both of them do, but with this color, it's a little more noticeable. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you want me to cover this one as well. Uh, and until next time, keep smelling amazing.